The backside Alley 360 is for advanced wave kiters, only as it is an extremely technical maneuver that requires an exceptionally high skill level. The alley -oop is a backward 360 degree aerial rotation, as opposed to an aerial 360 where the kite surfer rotates forwards. Thus, a backside alley -oop is an aerial maneuver in which the kite surfer takes off the lip of the wave riding backside, then spins their body in the board in a full 360 degree rotation in the air backwards, before landing again backside in the foam or at the base of the same wave. A really good wave riding level on your backhand and the ability to do backside airs are good stepping stones to learning this trick. Plus decent skills in strapless freestyle, in particular jumps and rotations, will be extremely valuable for mastering the backside alley-oop 360 faster. Start off in medium-sized waves that offer good ramps. As for any aerial maneuver, a good grip on your board is essential. Thus, make sure that it's properly waxed up or has a full deck pad. Eye up the section you want to launch off well ahead of getting to it. That way you can concentrate on generating enough speed down the line first. Pick a critical part of the wave, such as a closing section or breaking wave lip. A fairly wide stance on your board will help with balance and keeping the board stuck to your feet. Maintain a straight, oblique surf line towards the selected launch pad. Make sure to keep the kite high all throughout your time in the air. Popping out of the lip with a backside ollie and your front hand close to the center of the bar, grab the rail of your board with your back hand to help keep it in the right position under your feet. Let your head do most of the work, thus starting your rotation by pivoting your head over your shoulder. Before finishing the first 180 degrees in the air, you need to swap your hands on the bar in order to be able to complete the full 360 degree rotation. At this point, you must keep the legs flexed as much as possible, trying to bring your pelvis closer to the board. Stay low and compressed in your legs throughout the aerial phase and continue to look over your shoulder. As you come down, keep your center of gravity low and your weight slightly more on your back foot. Bend your knees, absorb the impact, and bring the bar around to continue riding down the line. Due to your backside stance and your position twisted away from the wave face, with your back arm wrapped around your body holding onto the bar, you won't be able to properly eye off your landing zone. Thus, you have to fully commit to the landing, making sure the board has rotated the entire 360 degrees before reconnecting with the wave. Not many riders in the world are capable of performing this move, so be very patient. But don't give up. It's an epic feeling when you land it. Let's summarize the key elements. Accelerate and drive your surfboard down the line. Eye off and commit to a braking section. Make sure to keep the kite facing in the direction of the wave traveling. Attack the launch pad without losing speed. Pop off the lip. Grab the rail with your back hand and initiate the rotation. Swap hands in the air, stay low, and continue to look over your shoulder to keep rotating. Commit to the landing, bend your knees, and absorb the impact. Enjoy your ride with the Duotone Kiteboarding Academy.